Hello everybody, and welcome to channel B, B, B. And this is a new thing we're doing. Everything is in live time without any editing. And I'm doing new podcast type thing. Episode 1, Uno Politics. What a fun, what a fun bundle of words. Bet you never thought you'd hear Uno and politics in the same sentence uttered by anyone. Especially not me. So, anyways, on with this. This is Beth Moth Chat. It's a new thing I'm doing. Uh, everything's purely uh, live in the moment. And uh, I, there's no editing whatsoever. So, I played the music in the background like five times or something. And I was like, uh, ah, just get it right, get it right. And then, because it was OBS, you, you can like have a little scene set and everything. So, I had that little fade-in transition between pictures and stuff. So, that was me just clicking on it right now. It's basically as close as you can get to, like, digital equivalent of, like, holding up title cards and then switching them in person and all. So, let's get on with this. And, uh, I gotta make sure I keep talking. Otherwise, I don't want this music to be copyright uh, struck, whatever. Is this, is this copyright music? Uh, yeah, it is copyright music, alright. So, I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna talk on accident, and or not talk enough. And then this music will be, is it too loud? It might be too loud. I'll have it to right here, here, I probably shouldn't have messed with it either way. But, regardless. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm, I think I'm gonna stop focusing on the music and all that, so it's not too loud and all. If anything, I probably could just turn it down right here, too. That way it's not here. Alright. So, anyways. Like I'm saying, this is not edited. So it's all for... It's a one-and-go type thing. So, I was walking about in my my kitchen. And I have one of those Echo Amazon Alexa type things. No, I'm not talking to you. Be quiet. Mine's just lit up right now because it's one in my room, too. And like it has like the little screen on it, and it says something like, "Ask about uh, Uno political thing, whatever." So I ask it, and it says apparently, you know, actually let me let me see right now if I can ask her now. Alexa, what's the story about uh, Uno politics? Tell me. I read a story about Uno. A new Uno deck will get rid of red and blue cards to make the game nonpartisan. Fox News reports the limited edition deck will add orange and purple, as well as a veto card that can force a player to skip their next turn and also change the subject of conversation. Maker Mattel says the goal is to offer a break from the current political climate. So, that's the story. That's the story, folks. Uh, we, we don't have red or blue cards anymore in Uno anymore. Isn't that fun? Be because they're, it's political now. I guess. Well, I mean, you know, red and blue are like politics, and like I'm not big on politics, but I like I've heard enough more recently to the point to where it's like, okay, red means Republican and blue means Democrat, I guess. But like I've always liked the color blue, and I always liked the color red. I've liked the color blue more often now, um, and more recently, but I had preferred red because you know Mario and all that. But still, it's like. This is ridiculous. That's that's pretty ridiculous, okay? I'm not one to get political ever, like really at all, unless it's like something about like it's like in my face, whatever. Unless it's invading my own like lifestyle or whatever, to the point where it's like, all right, this is enough. That's like I, I never really get political ever, because um, because some people are like, oh, uh, so and so, whatever in charge, whatever, uh, some, uh, the governor, or whatever, right? If the governor is freaking doing something, and now we have, uh, a 2% less, uh, taxes, or 2% or more taxes, or maybe even 0.2%, let's say it like that, I don't know. And it's like, it, it's not really affecting me, or whatever, and they're just like, this is terrible, I hate this person now, it's like, I don't get it, guys. Uh, it's not directly affecting me in any way that's very visible and it's like yeah I get if something could be affecting you and it's like you know you can't really sew because you know I'm not in your shoes I don't know the way you your lifestyle works maybe for you 
when you try buying something you notice stuff's a bit more expensive. I don't, I don't freaking know. But like, unless it's like making a big impact, like, like, and it's noticeable, like more people, it's noticeable. Like, I don't know. Like, I, if I were to see my friends suffering a bit from it, I don't. Something like that. I would see my friends like, oh, I can't afford this because uh, my parents aren't getting paid as much because uh, my parents' job. It, they're not getting paid as much because of politics or for whatever reason, you know, if it, was, if it was something like that I would understand, but this is ridiculous Like think about it Uno can't have r red cards and blue cards and it's it's not even there's no meaning behind it It's not like it's ever meant to be political in any type of way it, It's ridiculous, you know, I'm gonna look this up right now in my incognito tab because I don't want this on my search history. God. So let's see. Uno politics. Let's see that. So nonpartisan. I don't even know what that word means. Alexa, define nonpartisan. As an adjective, nonpartisan is usually defined as not partisan, objective. As a noun, nonpartisan is usually defined as a person who is nonpartisan. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for nonpartisan. Jeez, isn't that helpful, guys? Yeah, alright, so here, there we go. Now you know what nonpartisan means. Nonpartisan means you're not partisan. I don't know what partisan means. I'll have to ask what partisan means, but I just looked it up. So apparently it means you're not biased. Not partisan. Okay, it's any political group, so. Um. It, okay. Yeah. So it's it's not picking sides. That's what the whole new uh, what's it nonpartisan. It, apparently, this is a story about from two days ago. What's it say? Uno some other some other uh, website here. I'm not even gonna say what website is because um, if I were to say what website it was, that in itself is political nowadays for some reason. So it's like if I if I saw it from this, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, the recommended article here. One of them says like demonic quote-unquote photo from baby monitor goes viral it, oh my god this stuff this stuff's so dumb what the heck what the heck oh my god anyways what the heck wow this is actual stuff that's like blah 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 I'm just saying blah 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 because I don't want the music to be copyrighted because I've noticed with YouTube that if you have copyrighted music and it's not too too loud and your voice is talking over it then YouTube will, will let it slide really and it won't really catch that well it's not that it won't, it'll let it slide it's just that the, it won't catch it <clears throat> so let's see um Alexa say something cool 12 plus 1 is an anagram of 11 plus 2 both add up to 13 thank you for telling me that because I was taking a sip of water and I just needed someone to talk while I was taking a sip of water so it wouldn't be too quiet. So let's see. Um, man, there's a lot of random articles about stuff that's vaguely interesting. <laughs> it's like almost interesting enough for me to want to click on it, but also not enough for me to... Wh whatever, anyways. Um, so it doesn't have red or blue cards because politics are red and blue. Uh political parties or whatever and I guess you could say I'm nonpartisan in a way then based on this definition because I don't lean one way or the other I guess um, because like um, like I don't I don't know a whole lot about politics I just know like basic stuff about it and when I say like oh I'm not political I don't want to get political or whatever I'm not being like I'm not trying to be like, oh, I'm not trying to offend anyone or whatever. It's like, no, I just, I just find politics annoying because at, to a certain point, like in this day and age, it's just people arguing really about whatever. It sometimes it's not even, like, it's just bickering really. There's, it, it doesn't even get, it gets to a point where it's like, you're not even like trying to fight for good things. People just bicker. People just get to the point and it's just like, uh, you're red and I'm blue. I'm not supposed to like you because you're the other color as me. Ah, just like sports teams or wh what have you. And it's ridiculous. I think it's pretty silly. 
So, let's see. Um, actually, I don't even know which political party, like, the little animals represent. Like, there's an elephant, and then there's a... I think it's either a donkey, or, like, I think it's, like, technically a burrow or something. Uh, I don't even know which one which belongs to. I think the elephant... Okay, yeah. The elephant is Republican, and the, the burrow or donkey... Is it a burrow or a donkey? I don't know. It is a... Uh, what is it? Like, there's barely a difference. And I feel like if I were to just call it donkey, even though it's like, no, it's actually this, and it's not a donkey, then, like, people would just be like, no, you're being rude towards that party. You're clearly this type of... You're clearly a Republican, then. It's like, shut up, all right? You know I'm not in a loop in, in the whole loop of this shit to, like, actually know about this. There's another one called, like, Wig Party, and it has, like, an owl on it. All I think of is just, like, when I see that, like, it's just, when people, like, just memes, it's just like, wig. I don't even know what it is, but it's dumb. It's like, it's like an even sorting version of, like, it's got their wig snatched. <laughs> and I'm thinking about how it's even funnier, because, like, all these, like, wig party type stuff is, like, during, uh, the, the propaganda for it is sewn for, like, older, um, like, much, much older propaganda from, like, 18... Something, whatever. It says the wigs are parting like it's 1856, but I don't know. That's like the time of like powdered wigs type stuff. So it's like, it's like, dang. It's like they really did get their wig, their wig snatched. Haha. <laughs> but like, I'm not trying to be, uh, freaking. Like, oh, I don't know what it means, but I'm just gonna make fun of it, and without even knowing what it means. So I'm like, uh. Like, absentmindedly making fun of him. Like, no, I'm not doing that. I, I truly don't know enough about politics to, to like, really give a shit. And it's like, I don't want to even do Because, like, I'm saying how people just get, like, they're bickering over it, really. It, it's, it's crazy. So, as I'm looking at it here, um, so red is Republican, blue is Democrat, and as far as I know... <laughs> Republican are like conservative people and conservative people are like they like the older kind of ways and such and more order and uh, Democratic people are liberal people I guess This is like the dummy version of it explanation of it for anyone who's not too into it um, So like as far as I know because like I don't want to sound like I know I, like a little part of me kind of wants to sound like, oh, I don't know too too much about this because I don't want I don't want to sound like those people that's all like, this means this, this means that. I am the most self righteous person in the world because I'm talking about politics. Like, no, I hate those kind of people. It's like if you're this, you're this, because like there's exceptions to a lot of things, right? Because if you're if you're a Republican, like most Republicans are conservative, as far as I know, and heck, you could be. You can be a Republican, but that doesn't mean, like, you don't like ideas of liberal... You don't like... That doesn't mean just because you're that doesn't mean you don't... You can't like other stuff, too, you know? Like, I could be conservative and like liberal stuff, or I could be liberal and... Uh, or can classify myself as a liberal and, like, conservative ideas or whatever. What have you. People just think, oh, this person's one thing, they have to like this, and they can't like the other. And it's just like, no. It's ridiculous. So, where was I getting at with this? Uh, I was gonna say, like, I don't like to get political and all that, and just like, no, it says Uno politics. Technically, this is relevant to the subject at hand. So, that's cool. Um, I like to just be, to not lean one way or the other, to, so I don't, like, fall under that category of, um, of, like, oh my god, what is it? So I don't fall over. Oh, cool. Oh, great. Awesome. Okay, anyway, so, like, my parents aren't home right now. That's why I'm talking generally louder. Uh, good. My parents aren't home right now because... That's... I'm gonna tell... That's great. To here. Yeah, so my parents aren't home right now because... Um, it's my parents and my little brother. They went over 
to my grandma, who lives about four hours away from here because she was going, she was in the hospital, and I think it's some like, I think she had like a cancerous part of something, um, or whatever. She had something that was kind of cancerous on her, and he says you just sleep downstairs. Okay, all right, yeah. Um, she had like some kind of um, cancerous growth or something, whatever. It was it was something on her that was potentially cancerous, but she went she went under surgery and she's doing great. So that's great to hear. I'm glad she's doing fine. Um, usually when I hear about most of my relatives like in the hospital or something, everyone's like, "Oh my God, pray for them." It's like, no, no, they're they're good. Like I don't mean that in a mean way. I'm like, no, they're like they're too awesome to die or whatever. I don't know. I'm like I have total faith that they're gonna live, whatever. Even though. It could seem a bit ignorant. I just have that much faith in in stuff. But, anyways, um, I guess politics is relative, relative, le bleh, relevant to the subject I am talking about now. So, I think it's ridiculous that they want to be like, oh, let's avoid politics whatsoever. So, as I'm seeing here, um, let's see. Let me drag and drop this real quick because that's the way I'm doing this type of thing now. Is I'm having drag drag and drop pixels now. And I left no space on this picture here, on OBS, so I could just drag and drop it easily. Is it showing up? Where is it? Does this not class- Oh my god. Alright. I gotta- Okay, I gotta do this the long way now. I gotta copy the image, and I gotta go to Discord. I gotta paste it in the Discord. Then I gotta grab it here, open original, and then grab the original, then drag and drop here. Then that way it won't be like a freaking whatever file. Because, like, every time I drag and drop pictures from the internet, it'll be like, Oh, this is a, a web file or whatever. It's not an actual picture. It's like, then why is it so up? Why is it so up as a picture? On here, it's annoying. So, this is what it is right here. This is the, the non-partisan Uno card thing. Whatever. Oh my god. Okay. 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 Oh, I didn't respond. I just... Okay. Okay. God. I thought I responded. Oh, my mom's texting me right now. Um, anyways, I didn't, I forget. I, I thought I responded, but I didn't respond on accident. I just looked at it. This is the whole nonpartisan Uno card thing. Uh, let's see. Is this, oh, I can move these. Okay, that's right. Ah, uh, that's right. Um, so I guess I could just move this, or, you know what? I can just turn this right here. Boop. And boop. No, crap. I'm messing everything up. Here is the non-partisan Uno card. It's very silly looking, to say the least. This is very silly. Look at this. We don't have red and blue, but it's like, what? What is it? Okay. God, I get, I'm 19 now. I can take care of stuff. I can get stuff done. Jeez Louise. Anyways, it says it's not taking sides. And like, I think this is really silly. Cause it's like, oh, it's not taking size, whatever, but like, that, that, that's blue, right? <laughs> like, just looking at it, what did it say? Did it say this was supposed to be purple? Unless this was like a poorly taken image, that's, that's clearly blue, alright? Unless you want to say like, that's indigo or whatever, but like, that's a bluish color, very indigo. Uh, you could have made it a lot more purple looking, but, uh... Maybe that was on it on purpose. Who knows? Because I know that like a lot of people have been more running on like the Democratic side, I guess, whatever, liberal side in recent years. Obviously, if that wasn't obvious enough, if you know what politics are, just a little bit, kind of, because uh, people are like, oh, more accepting of this race and this type of lifestyle and all that, and people really hate Donald Trump because he's very conservative and Republican. So it's like, oh, everyone doesn't like him, so we're on this side. If I don't like him, that means I'm a liberal and democratic, whatever. And now my, and like, you know, like, they fall under the blue. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was like a sly, like, take a stab at that. Maybe I'm looking too much into it, but I mean, who knows? People are that petty. So I don't know. But the weird thing is, though, is like, it says like, no... No red or blue cards means no taking sides. Like, that's so stupid, really? No politics allowed. And it's like, there's a red card right there, okay? You can tell 
that's red because it's like the same color as here, pretty much. And you see orange right here. Oh, you can't see my mouse. Uh, you see like the orange on the four card right here and you see red on the one card there. Notice how like the one, the red on the one card and the no sign for no politics is like the same color. If not, just barely a little bit off. Like it's clearly like a different color than the orange on the four card. Plus, I think another thing that's kind of silly is on the wild card it still has the red and the blue. Unless like that blue is supposed to be the indigo or whatever. Like that's not purple, that's blue, all right? I don't I don't care about politics stuff. That's blue, okay? If you're going to if you're going to do this with colors, that's blue. Know your colors if you're going to if you're going to say no blue or red, okay? Cuz I didn't actually see what the box looked like, okay? Uh, I heard I heard this because of well, like what I said, but um, like I'm very passionate about colors, like a lot, to the point to where even whenever po and people try dragging politics into colors, I'm like, no, uh, part of my friends, but fuck you, colors are colors. They d don't even try fucking tying in political shit to colors because I fucking love colors. All right, colors are the best. I love colors so much. I love com combining colors to see what uh, works well. <clears throat> Excuse me, uh, like what works well. I like seeing complementary colors, from, like just that mess together. It it's great. I freaking love colors so much. I even have like some little logos that I was making. Let me just move this to here, I guess. I don't know. You could still see it, really. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? It was somewhere around here. Yeah, here it was. That I had like a little flavors of the week thing where I had like a new profile picture every day of the week on my Instagram. Where did it, where did it go? Oh crap. Oh, is it not responding? No! Don't do this to me now! Okay. Oh, it's such a huge image. Alright. Uh, okay. It's that big of a picture. Okay, so I gotta... Uh, oh my god, it's so huge! It's like freaking colossal. Because... I need everything to be high resolution. I gotta like drag and drop this all over, shrinking it down. They don't really give you an easy way to shrink it down, it's annoying on OBS. Okay, now I'll just get it. Get it. Oh god. Ah. Uh, here we go. There we go, right there. Look at that. One flavor every day of the week, plus one. Look, I love colors so much. Having all these colors right here. Look at that, it's beautiful. You got all these different colors. You got red and then like the teal and orange and blue. Complementary colors. I brighten it up a little bit in another picture of this. But look at that. Beautiful colors that mess together that work really well. I love it. I just love the different combination of colors so much. I'm very passionate about it. So when people do this crap, tell me, oh, colors are political now. It's like, no. No, they're not. All right, colors are colors. There's something. They're they're not politics. Fuck off. I don't care about your ideals, your fucking I ideology behind government crap and, and how to form people in society. All that. No, colors are colors. There's nothing about it. So this is stupid. And if you're not, and if you're gonna be like no red or blue, because you want to avoid politics, then why is the box blue then, huh? Like. I don't care who you are. That's blue. At like at the most, I would say it's indigo, but still, that's a blue. I mean, look at that. Like, uh, I feel like the box also was altered. Like the whole, all the colors on this were altered just to make this like an indigo color, rather than just be blue like it probably could have originally been. But you know what? Let's see. Let's see right now. Uh, on the website, this this website, the picture I got that was from the article. So let's see this whole narn, not narn, non-partisan uh, Uno. The official non-partisan Uno. Oh, okay, Uno non-partisan from Mattel Games. Let's see. Yeah, that's a straight up thing. What is it? I don't know. God. Anyone who comments on this video is gonna be like, I like the part where when he was making the video, his mom texted him a million times, and he was and he freaked out every time. Like, that's gonna that would be the thing if I had more followers. So looking at this, 
Yeah, that's a that's a straight up indigo. That's not purple. Ah, uh, I don't like, and I'm not even getting mad as in the sense of like, oh, it's blue and they're Democrat stuff like that. Like I already went over that. Okay, see here. So that's what they call blue. All right. Okay. All right. So here is the back of the box where they more clearly state. Right here. Okay, so that is uh, number two right there on the left. That's supposed to be the blue, and then there's the there's the obvious there's the red, you know. But then they've got the orange and purple that it's separated with. But like, let's see, let's read what it says. It says, whether you lean a little left or a little right, one thing we can all argue on is how much we love Uno. Bring your family and friends together with this nonpartisan partisan edition of Uno. Without red or blue cards, the folk uh, the focus can stay on the game. And remember, yell Uno before you reach across uh, the aisle and play your last card. Uh, any the special veto card lets you skip anyone who starts talking about politics. Oh, what? That's so stupid. Okay. Okay, that's a that's a. Oh my god, I'm like at a loss for words. Do you do they even realize this? Like in itself, by making a game a uno game purely based on not being political you've made it more political by bringing up politics and you have a card that penalizes players by talking about something that literally the game is bring what bringing up i don't know god this whole time been quiet i don't freaking know I don't, I don't know, I, I don't remember, jeez. God, I swear, this happens, it doesn't matter where or when, I freaking swear. Every time I freaking make a video, it's like, this will be purely unedited, whatever. It's like, okay, I'm in my room, totally quiet, I've been here for like, four hours or something, no one's gonna bother me, it's too late to, for, for anyone to want to talk to me now. So when I do, and I ha and I do have my family in the house, then someone knocks at my door or something, whatever, about whatever, and it's not even like oh, uh, uh, like go take out the trash or whatever. It's like some random miscellaneous stuff. I don't know. Jeez, and like they're freaking not even in the house, still bugging me when I'm recording stuff that it's like supposed to be a one-off thing. Like I'm not re-recording this whole conversation thing. It's supposed to be a one-off. Like, where it's totally unedited and I can just upload this at once. <laughs> Look, I swear, the whole joke of this, people that actually watch this are gonna be like, Hey, that video, it's more funny the fact that he got interrupted a million times rather than the actual Uno politic crap, it's stupid. You know, maybe the, it's a good thing it's about, it's a Uno politic type thing because everyone knows politics are what get people to look at stuff, you know? Say, oh, politics! Bam! You got you immediately got people uh, paying attention to it. Whatever. Oh, it even has a video right here. Let's see. I, I I'm tempted to click on it to see. Okay, so apparently, the actual game of Uno itself, the blue card on it, is significantly a brighter blue. So, this could be viewed as purple, really, technically. But let's see. Okay, so, yeah, I guess you could say that, the, like, the, since, like, the blue is, like, a very bright blue, and the blue on the nonpartisan box is very indigo-colored, then you could say, like, yeah, it is purple in comparison, but no, that's a, that's indigo, right? Indigo is basically, like, blue, it's, indigo is more of a blue than a purple. Indigo, I'm looking it up right now. Indigo color. Let me see. It, it's basically the same thing. It's the same thing. It's indigo. Ah, it's annoying. Yeah, it, it's it's freaking yeah. I hate it. Like, make it purple. It, like, is it really that hard to make it purple? You know. Politically speaking, if you were to make it purple, that would even be that would make a better statement of anything. Cause like, if you were to do that, you could be like, oh, 
it's purple so it's got purple is a combination of red and blue so it's like oh we're we're bringing them together uh let, let's stop arguing you know but it's like no they just fucking get indigo because people don't know the colors and i bet you the only thing keeping them from making it orange would be like oh if it's orange it's more leaning on red uh so it's you know like and people will be like oh it's red it's republican crap and conservative that uh i hate it it's so stupid it's so dumb because like the whole like that whole like no politics card and literally it, it literally freaking it's pretty hypocritical to have a car that penalizes people for talking about politics when literally the theme of that specific deck of cards is the is supposed to be non not poli not political it's it's uh what's it called it's reverse psychology and you're penalizing people using reverse psychology it's so weird like was this supposed to be like something to make things better like that's if you don't want someone talking about something, don't bring it up. Don't just say, hey, don't talk about it, you know? That's not how stuff works. Like, hey, uh, don't talk about that one girl. Uh, it looks like she's putting on a little weight, but don't talk about it. And it's just like, that's the only thing that's on your mind now. So it's like, you just, you just ruined it. It's ridiculous. I was going to actually talk about other things, but luckily we did just stay to the topic of the whole UNO politic crap. Like, this is stupid. It really is. Like, that's so dumb. Ah, I'm never gonna get over it. I'm gonna die angry about this. Because I hate politics so much. Like, only in the sense of, like, people arguing about it. Because people will view you as one side or the other. And when they do, they'll never let it go and will only assume every single thing about that one political party will now reflect as part of your personality and you'll never be able to change it. i swear i hate how closed-minded people are like that nowadays because someone thinks like people will literally think oh that guy is a liberal and i am a conservative i'm supposed to hate you for trying to be a special snowflake or whatever and like they just have like that kind of stereotype but then if it's like or if it's the other way around, that guy is conservative and I'm liberal, so that person must be a huge asshole that is not accepting of new ideas. And it's like, no, no, that's not how it works for either of those situations. Like, it's ridiculous. That's why I don't, like, I'm not none of this nonpartisan, non fucking whatever, because in that sense, you're just being blind, you're being closed minded. Because if you want to be like, no politics allowed, then you're being more closed-minded and being even more problematic than before. So, no. No, I don't think that's a good idea at all. I think it's silly. And unless the intent of this idea is to be silly, which usually most of the time it's not. There's usually, like, I don't think a company would, like, think, hey, wouldn't it be funny to make fun of politics by making a silly no card thing like this? And it's like, it's not taking sides, whatever. Like, usually stuff doesn't do that because people are too afraid to make jokes like that nowadays. So, I, I would most likely, ah, oh my God, suck, ah, ah, I'm fine. I'm okay. I'm, I'm tempted to just be like, I'm fucking dying. My, my spleen is three miles across the, uh, the floor. I, the house is on fire. There's nuclear radiation. The toilet is sentient. <laughs> Fuck. I'm fucking okay. Yes. Yes. I'm okay. Hey, Christ. I swear, my parents are too concerned about me. My mom thought I had fucking depression or something because I'm in my room all the time. And it's like, no, I'm not depressed. And it's like, I'm freaking working on Blender or something. You know how long it takes to rent to like mess around with 3D models and stuff? It's very precise stuff that takes a long time. And if you don't know how Blender works properly, you're going to have a fucking stroke trying to use that program. All right? Like it takes forever trying to learn it not and being too stubborn to look at YouTube videos that help you and trying to figure it out on your own. Like, 
I don't have depression. I'm not like people nowadays that are that, that fucking that di that self-diagnose themselves with clinical depression the second they stub their toe. Christ. I'm freaking. I'm not suicidal. I'm too freaking scared of the thought of the, the idea of dying to even think about committing suicide. I enjoy life. I like my life. As shitty as some things can be, I like the how stupid stuff is and just laughing about life, how dumb it is can, can be. Ah. <laughs> I swear. This is like a fucking sitcom how you have like two different plot lines like Oh, we got, we're talking about how stupid the Uno Poli the non-partisan Uno game thing is. And we got me <laughs> for getting interrupted by my parents texting me. Somehow they managed to interrupt me from four hours away. How? How even? Ah! Anyways, this has been Beth Moth Chad talking about Uno politics, guys. For, for th uh, 30 and a half minutes. Or 30, I don't know, 35 minutes, whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Um, I'll be doing this weekly, most likely. Um, I think I might just upload this to see how it does. And once, uh, once I'm more able to upload regularly, then I'll try doing this weekly if I can. Um, hopefully shorter than this, maybe not. Uh... Also, I will not, I'll try not to rely so much on visual stuff. That way, you can just listen to this in the background and you have like this single picture here. So, if you were just listening to this in the background, good on you. Uh, there was only those one parts where you had to look at it, but it was just me talking about the colors, which you can just look, you can look at it for yourself, you know. So, um, that was the only visual thing I was talking about, so I guess you could have just been listening to this background. Hopefully, that's what I'm aiming for anyways. So... Thank you for joining me on Beth Moth Chat discussing Uno politics, everybody. Hope you have a wonderful night or day or life. Whatever's going on. I hope you're having a good time. I hope you're vibing, alright? And yeah. Um, hope you're doing alright, guys. So that's the end of it. Okay, bye. Thanks for watching.